to start testing us. On the next Animal Kingdom. Hope would do anything for us. You don't know that. Well, now we gotta do something. We might have to figure out a different arrangement. A more permanent one. Animal Kingdom. All new Sundays at 9 on TNT. And watch anytime on demand in the TNT app. This may come as a shock to some of you, but in time, I think you'll understand. This is the final day for our kind. It's time for us to evolve into the species that we were meant to become. I've seen a path. Maybe that's enough to give us hope. I always say it's somewhat controlled chaos on this show. And this season, running around and being crazy, it's been a dream. The only thing better than one Aaron Paul is several. And in a sense, he's still human, but it's gotten more complicated. He wakes up in a cell and is yet another version of himself, but he forgets that he knows that. But then it's revealed by seeing himself in other cells, and he's just desperate to get out. That was also a set where we had a lot of glass walls, we had flames, we had drone hosts. We had walls that had to be white and walls that had to be transparent. So figuring out the order of shooting and how we were going to do all that was pretty exciting. This is the Caleb holding cell. The very, very hard set to scan. <laughs> it's nothing but reflective surface, but it's a phenomenally well-designed set. And we got pieces of it in here where we have some green screen work that we have to do with the double Caleb's this season. Double, triple, quadruple. I still think that despite the fact that he's had the Delos treatment and is now a replica of his former self, that there's so much humanity in him. Even though it's illogical, he doesn't stop fighting because he's fighting for something bigger than himself. He's fighting for his daughter. The stunt department on this show is just the top of their game. So I do everything up to a point, and then when, you know, I could hurt myself, I just leave it up to the professionals and I go eat a sandwich somewhere. Aaron is game. He, throughout this whole process, he's, uh, he's quick to tell you if there's something that he doesn't feel comfortable doing, but more often than not, he's happy to try everything. <laughs> One of the big questions for us was how to make the transition from the duct to the actual fall. We had multiple falls because at that point, you know, there's multiple Caleb's. So we had him coming out of the duct on the wire with a stunt guy, which was one decaying Caleb. And then we had uh, two stunt guys at one point, and then we had a stunt guy and a dummy. And uh, in the end, I think it worked out fine. At this point, the temperance park has been closed for 30-something years and has been essentially condemned, and all the land around it has been condemned. So we've seen an uh, abundance of weeds and sand just sort of take over the temperance park, dry out the lake beds, and basically have a sense of naturalism growing through something that was unnatural. Our temperance street was down here through the middle throat. We called it Cicero Ave, kind of based off of Capone's hometown. In the background, you see the original high-rises of the 1920s of Michigan Ave and Lake Michigan. However, in this timeline, it is now a dried lake bed. As a personal motive and a possible Easter egg, in this painting, we also included potential future park expansions, which was a quick throwback to the original feature film. Um, and we had Roman world as seen here by the ruins of the Colosseum. Fingers crossed that somehow this makes its way in. Aurora is just a total badass and just absolutely magnetic and compelling to watch. We needed an actor who could be strong, but also exhibit this kind of haunted vulnerability. 
I'm not a very aggressive person. I'm not a very like tough in your face person. I think C kind of is. So it was a challenge to meld myself into this person where it's like, okay, how can I justify that I am this like very tough, very strong, like straightforward person while still being myself, which is why I think a lot of the time it was choosing this avenue of like, I'm doing these things, I don't want to be doing these things, but I have to do these things. And so then that was a justification and I could still be vulnerable. Cookies, Frankie, hey, it's your dad. I know you're out there. And if you're hearing this, I want you to know that you're going to win. To steal from the Empire? To just walk in like you belong? They're so proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. What I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? I need all the heroes I can get. For the greater good. Call it what you will. Let's call it war. There's fermenting out there, son. Pockets of fermenting. You're in my net. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation. There's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? This is what revolution looks like. I'm tired of losing. Being a Hulk asks for balance. It's easy. <laughs> Little punk. So I'm clearly nailing it at all of these things. When am I ever going to use this as a lawyer? Jen, when you have powers like this, it's like putting a target on your back and the backs of all the people you care about. Oh, cool. Yet another way my life is ruined. Thanks, Bruce. All right. All I've been doing is showing you the downsides of being a Hulk, but there are a few upsides. Our bodies metabolize alcohol at an incredibly fast rate, which means that we can drink so much and not get drunk. All buzz, no barf. That's good. W. Come in. Good morning, Commander. Hi, Isaac. I wish to become intimate with you. If you are unoccupied, may we go on a date followed by sexual conjugation? Pretty good. How are you? Einstein said he could never understand it all. Planets spinning through space. Smile upon your face. Welcome to the human race. Sliding down 
are these people you're going to try and take down? What was that? They know who we are. They will find you. I know you're tracking me. See you soon, Murphy. They're going to kill us. Hey, what's up? Man? Ice water, $1. Hey, listen, the last time we did this, you guys gave me room temp water and charged me extra because it was sunny in Atlanta. Come on now. Ice water bad for you anyway. You seem frustrated today. I'm not upset about anything. Hey, man, what's going on? I mean, not to flex, but work is good. Hey, I'm, I'm here to see D'Angelo. What you did up there was very impressive. So how do you do that? Do what? You know, the... You know? Don't tell me That you get sick of living You're like you Then all hell breaks loose. She sent me all the pretty pictures on her screenshot it. Like, don't be sending me the kitty if you ain't nobody. Get off my car now! Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's something there I watch Criminal Minds, and I know when someone's up to something twisted. <laughs> ESPN. That's a regular damn remote. We are the daughters of ancient lines. This is what I call an army. We are called to greatness. Time to wake the witch. The world is burning. We should be crushing them. It's a suicide mission. Those are the missions we do best. Scylla, do you know where she is? Unlock her now. Motherland, Fort Salem. New episode next Tuesday at 10 on Freeform and Stream. <laughs> Where do you want these? I, I have this weird feeling of deja vu. What do you mean, unpacking your stuff? Oh, we've done this before. What do you mean, unpacking your stuff? Thank you. I used to believe in progress. That we learned from our mistakes. And I feel like I'm back where I was six years ago. Well, no matter what we do, we just end up back at the start. Thank you, God. We plan to kick ass in your name, Brady. Diane, give him a chance. He's a rainmaker. I am not Diane. I am Liz. Sorry. Reddick is over. I am a brand. My lawyers do not want to work for a brand. Oh, sure they do. If it's that or unemployment. I'm feeling it. That most dangerous feeling. Hope. Where do you find your optimism? In a hallucinogenic drug called PT-108. You're joking. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello world. Feels like bad times. Oh yeah, one slash away from civil war. Look at the ethics of all this. Standing next to each other at a bar talking, I think we're all right. <laughs> You don't think this is all a bit ridiculous? There is very little in this world that I don't find ridiculous. The point isn't the end. Come on, big boy. Loosen your chaps. The point is winning. Ah! gonna lose everything what the firm and the country oh Could you let me have a drink or two before we face that my god f you f you and f you
It was a conference call. Welcome to Montana, a place where the horizon never ends, full of friendly folk just trying to do right. But in the untamed wilderness, you never know what's going to be coming around the bend. One thing's for certain. Once you set foot in this place, you may never want to go home again. And you might not. talked about the season as really feeling like a horror movie. Those first three episodes tell the first 20 minutes of the movie Halloween, which are the only 20 minutes of the movie that are set during the day. And you meet our characters slowly. You meet Jamie Lee Curtis, you meet her friends. You see the creeper. He's out in daylight the same way you see Michael Myers in those first 20 minutes. And then you see in 104 and 105 the day before and then Halloween itself. We have several mysteries to uncover in this season and not all are directly tied to our slasher villain. We, of course, in a show titled Original Sin, needed to start with what that original sin was. So we did craft the character of Angela Waters first. Why does no one want to talk about Angela Waters? We knew that we wanted the mom's big sin to be tied to Angela. Horror movies and twins go well together, and there's something that's inherently spooky about them. What if Karen's not really dead? We all saw her fall. What if that wasn't Karen? What if it was Kelly? The idea that there are two people who look identical and that they might be lying to you or they might be switching their identities. Farron doesn't trust easily. She is so sure about who she believes Karen to be, even after death. If Karen could see us now, mm. if only. We are gathered here to make contact with the spirit of Davy Lee. Adams. Imogen is discovering the truth, which is she didn't know her mom. When you're young, your parents are your parents. You don't really see them as people. For someone like Imogen, all she knows of her mom is that she is an amazing, loving mother. So I think it really shakes her to learn that maybe she wasn't that in the past. The big conversation that we always had about the Ouija board scene is, for the first time, the girl that has kept it together, the girl that keeps fighting, the girl that is strong, finally breaks down. Seeing those kids come together facing horror and facing sadness is a really cathartic moment. And I do think it pushes them together and solidifies their friendship. Why would you leave me? Did it have something to do with Angela Waters? Seriously, you have nothing to say. Fuck you! Everybody's just demanding answers, but everybody's keeping secrets. The camera that Tabby sets up in the boys' locker room is the very first attempt at confronting her trauma. She is very slow to do anything with it. She just knows that she's desperate for any detail, anything that could trigger a memory. One of the things that she's doing throughout the season is that she's processing her trauma through her art and through filmmaking. Our victim will be a vulnerable young man from the point of view of the female gaze. This is a somewhat intimate scene, so I wanna make sure everyone feels safe. She's processing her own trauma, and she asked for a safe set. Oh my god, where's your damn Speedo, Greg? <laughs> we are trying to decide where our boundaries are and what it means when those boundaries get crossed. Tabby, Tabby, where are you going? For a walk. The thing that's really heartbreaking is that Greg shows up and exposes himself, which is an assault to her. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. The buildup that made that all work was incredibly important. It was understanding how Tabby felt about men because of what one of them had done to her. And really trying to be able to get in here was the challenge. When she comes back, Chip, 
a young man has finished shooting the film for her, which I think is a really big heartbreak because she wanted to flip the gaze. What do you mean, you shot it? Yeah. We wanted A to not have the light shown on him until episode four when we have our rooftop chase with Noah. When I read that scene, I could not believe it said Noah. Like, I was just so excited. That was one of the most fun days I've ever had on a set. The action portion of it is one of my favorite things to do. So I kind of convinced Tracy, your stunt coordinator, to let me do it. 90% of what you saw was her. It took a whole night to shoot because Noah was jumping over a roof that didn't exist. We created a fake ledge and we had a camera angle that you see her leaping off and then we had another camera where she lands. So we built it in through visual effects and production design that there was a gap between two rooftops. We created some high platforms. That's where we have the shot from below and that was a stunt double who was rigged on a wire. Halloween is a ghoulish night. Halloween's the scariest night of the year. And a chance for everyone to dress up, everyone to walk around costumed. It was so much fun with Mouse. We built the Wendy the Witch costume, and it just felt true to her. So it almost felt like a costume she could have had when she was five. You're beautiful. What Ash's character does is really acts as the catalyst for her to come into herself and be more willing to open herself to these new girls because somebody finally accepts her as she is. We also made Farron's costume from scratch and we just wanted to do our own version of Poison Ivy. With Imogen, we did Rosemary's Baby. I combed through the movie and tried to think of what was the most iconic outfit and decided it was that nightgown. Imogen's house it was across the street from the cemetery, which I don't believe was originally scripted. But once we saw all the great angles we could get, we stood pointing at that house and saying, that's the one. The lead up to the Tyler kill was a huge challenge, a massive undertaking. We know something that none of our other characters know. We have the privileged information, which is that A is crashing this Halloween party. Spying on all of our characters, we do those iconic, classic POV shots like Michael Myers at the beginning of Halloween. Hey, Ogreth, we can make our own movie. And once you see it, you will beg me to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> It has a strong stance against bullies. And so seeing an epic fight between Tabby and Tyler and positioning Tyler as a harasser, a very Terminator-like sets his sights on Tyler as a perfect kill. The notes for the creeper and Tyler in the bathroom were, we want it brutal and we want it violent. We always had that threat looming. So it's building and it's burning and it's building and it's burning. And then once we got to this Tyler kill, we saw what he's actually capable of. And the camera doesn't tilt away. Have you ever heard about the High Beam Urban Legends? American Horror Stories. There is not a serial killer that's gonna stop me from doing my thing. A new nightmare every week. You like getting scared? I'd rather give than receive. Someone's following me. A knife should feel like an extension of one's hand. I never thought about it much. You can always use it to get rid of your boyfriend. <laughs> FX's American Horror Stories Drive. Now streaming only on Hulu. I think I want to join the gamas. The frat's a frat. It's just astrology for dudes who like butt chugging. Cheers, dudes. Yeah. Oh. What the f Nah, I'm just playing with you, man. Grownish. New episodes Wednesdays at 10 on Freeform and stream on Hulu. In mother's absence, I realized like no one is the boss of me anymore. You're really gonna go this entire mission without helping? Not helping pays the same and doesn't require trying. You need to win the agent skills competition if we're going to launch the agency properly. So allow you to ruthlessly exploit us. Welcome to the concept of a job. Got it, Utah! I do feel a responsibility to keep my mother's legacy alive. Woohoo! Hey, Archer. No.
I'm looking for one of you to take the mantle of leadership. It's me, right? All fair in love and... Ow! Ah! It shall be I who leads. Ah! FYI, Cyril, this jungle has trees. All I want is to do my job and go home. Ah! It's Saturday. <gasps> I mean, where's the me time? My gosh, she's like a Valkyrie. Ah! Are we, like, flirting? Lord of Cinders, command me! I can hold it! I can hold it! Oh, no, that's my penis. Tonya! Until now, I've been the careful, rule-respecting archer. But that is over! Why am I always the responsible one? Which one of you is the leader? Oh, buddy, don't open that can of worms.